Hey there, and welcome to this video where I'm going to explain how exactly we're going to do this class level ecology review. So every single class has their own slide deck here or their own Google Slides presentation. And I'm going to walk you through the instructions and complete an example so you know exactly what to do and you can see how to do it. So starting with a third hour example, second hour, this works the exact same for you. So the instructions are to watch this video, which you are certainly already doing. You're going to make a copy of the next slide. And then once you have your own copy, you're going to start adding your own information and your own answers to the slide. When you're finished, if you get through everything on your slide, you can start adding to the vocabulary section at the very end. So those are your directions, your directions, excuse me. Let's look at this together as I do an example. So slide number three that we need to copy looks like this, that has all of the questions and all of the instructions for what you're doing on your individual slide. When I'm on this slide and I've pressed it over here on the left side, I'm going to press the buttons on my keyboard, control C to copy. Then I'm going to go where it says begin slides here. I'm going to press control V. So now I've copied the slide and this can be my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and start answering these questions and changing some of the information on the slide to make it my own. So first and last name, I'm Adam Johnston. I'm going to pick one of these three relationships between mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism. I'm going to go with commensalism. And so to show that I'm picking this one, I'm going to make it bold, underline it, and italicize it. So clearly someone reading this slide can see, oh, we're talking about commensalism. So number one, check. Two, describe how this relationship works. This is something you could do in your own words. So I'm going to say, oops, in commensalism, one organism receives a benefit, this is some positive impact, while the other organism, other organism receives no benefit and no harm. So I've now picked my relationship. I've described this relationship in my own words. And now we can move on to number three. What I'm going to do is, uh, per the instructions, use the internet to find an example of this relationship. And for number three, I'm going to write the name of the two organisms that have, in this case, a commensalism relationship. So I'm going to open a new tab. I'm going to type in example of commensalism. And here we can already see several different examples. But remember, we want to look at the actual link. We want to visit the actual website to know what's going on. So I'm going to look for what looks like a reliable source. Britannica.com, the Encyclopedia Britannica, always a good place to check out. Oh, and they want us to donate. All right. Here we go. So we have an explanation of what commensalism is. We've got an example here, the pilot fish swimming with a white tip shark. So what I'm going to do to verify this is I'm going to copy all of this information and open it in a new tab so I can learn even more about this example. Skipping over Wikipedia, we've got some more sources from Botanica. Here we go. So you've got a description of the shark. Amazing. We can read more. Excellent, excellent. Now, for the sake of this video, I'm going to not read all of this out loud, but I do want you to see that we're checking resources in more than one place. That's an important thing to do. So now I've got the name of these two organisms. I'm going to copy pilot fish and put that in my slides. And our second organism is the white tip shark. So, oh, I'm sorry, that should be in that number three. Number five is where I'm going to show my sources, which is really, really important. I'm going to, again, highlight the link, press control C on my keyboard. And then in the slide, I'm going to press control V to paste my link here. And finally, to finish things off, we're going to add a photo. So I'm going to use the same photo from here by double clicking, or I'm sorry, right clicking on the image, copy the image. And then when I press control V, it pastes right into the slides. 
so that they can fit. I'm going to make it a little smaller. And here we are. Now, at this point, I've finished my slide, and I have two things that I can do. First, I can go to the vocabulary section, and using my understanding of these terms we've already talked about, like organism, population, etc., I can use a Google search to find example images of these different things. So let's say community, for example. I would search ecology community, do a quick Google search, and we can see this picture that we've used in class as well as others. When I find one that I like, all I have to do is paste it in the slide, and that's what everyone who finishes can do. If you have any questions on what to do, how to do it, of course, you can raise your hand. And finally, when you've done all of these steps, making your slide, adding to vocabulary, I encourage you to look at other people's slides so you can get another example or another explanation of these three relationships we've talked about. That is all I've got for you.